Hi guys, this is GBHL Steve and this is another GBHL Army Showcase video. Uh, today I'm going to be showcasing the White Council. Um, the White Council, the models that you see in front of you are from the uh, White Council box set which uh, was available, or still is available should I say, from uh, Games Workshop. I think the release was around the same time as the early releases for Unexpected Journey. Um, so it's quite an old box set but still holds up the miniatures themselves are some of my favourites. Um, as you can see these are painted and I must say these are not painted by myself um, my skills are nowhere near to the level that these are. Um, a friend of mine uh, Chris his tag name is Rusted Plate you can search for him um, and check out his blog he does commission painting and I had him paint these up for me um, the reason that I got uh, Chris to do these was I, I wanted these to be something special I'm a fairly competent, fairly confident painter, um, but with especially with Galadriel and Saruman with the whites and the creams, um, I just you know I didn't want them. Or I didn't want them to look untidy. I wanted a nice, neat paint job. Um, I've wanted the White Council um, for a long, long time, and I've had this box set for a long, long time, um, and just never, never had the confidence myself to paint it. Um, but it's something that you know recently especially I'm sort of revisiting a lot of old profiles uh, and models not just because of the profiles mainly because of the, the sculpts um, these are amazing sculpts um, and I've got a lot of things planned where I want to use the White Council so look out for bat reps uh, and such on the GBHL channel and also on Top Table Wargaming um, get over there and have a look these guys are going to be appearing very very soon in videos to come so Onto the White Council profiles themselves. Uh, within the White Council, uh, we have Gandalf the Grey, uh, Saruman the White, we have Galadriel, and we have Elrond. Um, four awesome profiles. Um, as far as how well they work together, um, I'm not too sure because I don't think I've ever actually seen someone play these four profiles, the White Council, as one force. Um, it's quite pricey, you don't get a lot really for you. Well, you do get a lot for your points because the profiles are awesome. But when I say you don't get a lot, I mean what the cost for these four, um, you'd be coming up against some substantial armies. So we'll have a look at the profiles, we'll have a closer look at the models, and um, yeah, we can go from there. So we'll start with Gandalf. Gandalf the Grey. Um, his stat line is Fight 5, Strength 4, Defense 5. One attack, three wounds, and courage seven. He has three might, six will, three fate. He has uh, his his uh, ring Naya, which lets him re-roll his fate rolls, which is really really handy. He also has his staff of power, uh, which gives him a free point of will every turn. Uh, so, he, so he's got six in his store, and he gets to use a free point every turn, which is awesome and and fairly standard to the, to the well-known wizards. Um, he, as well in his war gear he has Glandring, uh, now Glandring is his sword as a lot of you will, will know and um, if you say you're using Glandring rather than his staff in the fight it increases his strength to 5 which is very very handy. Um, I don't can't think of a reason why I'd use his staff over his sword, um, I think with a staff uh, you, you get the, uh, the stun attack but I think having the strength 5 for me would always outweigh that um, every time, every time. Uh, magical, magical powers that you can cast with Gandalf the Grey are Blinding Light, he casts that on a 2+, plus. Command, which he casts on a 4+, plus. Immobilize, which he casts on a 3+, plus. Sorceress Blast on a 5+, plus. Strength and Will on a 4+, plus. and Terrifying Aura on a 2+. Plus. Um, all these, he's, 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 for me, out of all the wizards, I've used Saraban I think once, um, I've never used Galadriel, um, and I've never really, well I have used Elrond, uh, I do tell a lie, I've used Elrond, I really like the Elrond profile, but for me the most used one is Gandalf, um, I find him really really useful in forces, um, he's probably, for me, one of the easier wizards to get your head around using, um, you kind of work out fairly quickly what he's good for, what you need to be using him for, um, and things you don't need to be using him for. I mean, Sorcerer's Blast on a 5 plus is something that, you know, at a push you'd use, or if you didn't have anything else to use his free part of might on that turn, you might try a cheeky Sorcerer's Blast. Um, don't get me wrong, it's an awesome spell, it's very handy, but 
he's not really there to cast that. He's more of a, uh, a he's helping your army out. He's immobilising, um, he's strengthening your will, he's terrifying aura, and he's blinding light. Um, are the things that that I mainly use anyway. Um, I think he's a really good profile. I think within this list, he's going to be very very good. Um, the strength and will spell is going to be awesome. Um, so yeah, Gandalf the Grey is someone that I use a lot and I look forward to using again. And I would definitely, definitely, definitely take the option of putting him on his horse just to give you that extra manoeuvrability um, and extra range for your spells uh, for an extra 10 points. It's well, well worth it. Next hero in my um, White Council list is going to be the... You've got a couple of options profiles here for Galadriel, but I'm going to go with the Lady of Light. Uh, the profile that was released with the Battle of Five Armies uh, source book. Um, it's more of a, how can we say, she's, she's I think, a better hero all around. Um, the 45 spirit on a 2 plus is just going to make sure that pretty much everyone in the White Council is not immune to magic, but, you know, not far off. Um, she has a stat line of fight 6, strength 3, defense 3. Three attacks, three wounds, courage seven. Uh, she has three might, six will, three fate. She has Nenya, uh, one of the three elven rings. She gets to re-roll uh, her fate dice rolls, which is awesome. Uh, she causes terror. She is a woodland creature. Um, she can expend a single point of will each turn without depleting a store of six. So she gets a free one each turn again. Um, Shooting attacks directed at Galadriel um, will only hit on a roll of a six, uh, and that is that's a six-inch bubble as well. So it's not just for her. Uh, so she gets like auto blinding light, which which is an awesome rule, I think, and and it's really well suited to her. Um, she's got a special rule called War Aspect, um, where all models within six inches of Galadriel suffer minus one to the courage. Uh, and she never counts as being unarmed, which is good. Um, so yeah, that, that's Galadriel's profile. It's a really strong profile for the points. I think it's really strong. Uh, the magical powers she gets, like we say, is Fortify Spirit on a 2+, plus, and Banishment on a 3+. plus. So she's, she's a good caster. She's not got lots of spells, but she's got spells that do a lot for her. Um, and I think in this list, um, she's, she's going to be a real good ally to the other three. And I think she complements the others as well. Uh, so that's the Galadriel prof profile that I'll be going for in my White Council. We'll move on to the next one. Okay, so we're on to Saruman. Um, the Saruman profile that I will be going for. Again, you have a choice out of Saruman the White and Saruman the Wise. Um, Saruman the Wise is more expensive um, than Saruman the White and it would be Saruman the Wise that I would like to take in this list just simply because the profile itself is just amazing um, I'll give you a rundown of his stats he's fight 5, strength 4, defense 5, 1 attack 3 wounds, courage 7, 3 might, 6 will, 3 fate he has a staff of power so he gets a, a free point of uh, will every turn as per the others um, he's classed as resistant to magic um, he has a special rule called the Voice of Coronair. Um, it's said that Saruman's uh, voice is his greatest power. And he has a standfast range of 12 inches, which also includes other heroes, which is going to come in very, very handy. I mean, everyone in the White Council has got quite high courage. Um, but, you know, that just means that you're not taking that risk of, you know, multiple courage tests if you do get broken. Um, he also has a special rule called Consuming Rivalry. Uh, and the way they describe it is the head of the White Council resents Gandalf the Grey and often sees him as a nuisance and basically what it means is that he will uh, never follow any of Gandalf's sort of with me calls with heroic moves and such um, and he also he will not benefit if Gandalf casts strength and will on him uh, so it would be a waste of will from Gandalf to try and strengthen and will Saruman because he just simply won't accept the help uh, magical powers that he has is Aura of Command, that's casting on a 2+, plus. Um, Command casting on a 3+, plus with an 18 inch range, Immobilize casting on a 2+, plus with an 18 inch range, 
and Sorceress Blast casting on a 4 plus with a 12 inch range. Uh, Saruman the Wise is the Lord of the Astari. Uh, he's the most powerful of the five wizards and he's the leader of their order. Um, Saruman the Wise can choose to re-roll one dice when making casting or resist tests. Now that rule in itself just makes the extra points worthwhile in my opinion um, and is the main reason why I'd be taking Saruman the Wise over Saruman the White. So we'll move on to our final member in this list of the White Council. Okay, so on to Elrond. Um, the Elrond profile that I'll be taking is the Elrond probably out of the uh, the Hobbit book. There are a couple to choose from, and there are some really cool ones that catch my eye, especially Elrond, Lord of the West, from the Battle of Five Armies um, source book. Now, I may sort of uh, trial these profiles and see which one suits the force the best, but simply because of the um, the miniature that I'll be using, which is the one you can see for the moment. Um, I'll just be going with the Elrond profile from the Hobbit main rulebook. He's slightly cheaper, but you have the upgradable options of heavy armour and a horse. Um, he has a stat line of 6 fight value, strength 4, defence 5, 3 attacks, 3 wounds, 7 for courage. Like I say, he can add uh, heavy armour to that to get the defence up. He has uh, Vilya, which is one of the elven rings. And it means that he uh, can re-roll his fate rolls again, which is really, really good. He has two magical powers, Nature's Wrath, which he's casting on a 4+. plus. Uh, we all know how powerful that can be. And he has Renew, uh, which casts on a 3+. plus. So it's a 50-50 chance of uh, successfully casting. Um, you know, he's got he's got three, three will, so you know he's got a good chance of it. It's three might. He can cast that quite well. And then you've got like replenish will etc from Gandalf, which can um, sort of bump him back up when he's using it. All in all, I think he complements this list very, very well. So that will be the profile I'll be using. Will I change in future to have the Elrond Lord of the West profile? Possibly. I'll try it out and I'll see where we go. It all depends on points and what I can fit in. With these um, four profiles that I've mentioned, um, the points is still quite high. Um, it's over 600. Um, so you would be looking at a 650 to 700 point list depending what you wanted to add with horses and whatnot. Um, but I'm going to be very very interested to get it on the table and see how it fares against um, a f an, an army uh, of that points value uh, and see how it does. Um, I, I mentioned before I'm not too uh, familiar with uh, multiple casters etc but really really interested in uh, giving it a go. And I think a force like this is something where you can really sort of hone your skills in doing that. So, you know, playing the friendly games, doing some scenarios with the White Council in, um, getting some bat reps under my belt uh, with some of the other GBHL lads or, or guests of the channel to come in and um, let me give it a run out. And so maybe interchange some of the profiles, maybe change uh, to a different Galadriel profile, maybe change to a different Saruman profile. Definitely going to try out the different Elrond profiles. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the White Council list that I'll be running with to begin with. Um, and I'll let you you guys know how I get on with it. You'll be able to see some of the results because I'm going to get as much filming with these on camera as possible. Because uh, Chris uh, from Rusted Plate um, Commission Services has done such an amazing job. Um, the miniatures themselves, the bases, very, very cool. All ties in the theme very, very nicely. Um, so I'm definitely going to get him to do some more of my stuff. So keep an eye out on the uh, channel for that. So you're going to be seeing these on both Top Table Wargaming and the GBHL channel uh, in bat reps. Let me know what you think of the models. Let me know what you think of the paint jobs. And let me know if there's different profiles that you'd add or take away. Now I know that I could possibly go one step further with it and add sort of like your Radagasts and such in there. Again, it's bumping up the um, the points value. But basically I just wanted to run these four, because these four are what come in the box set, uh, the White Council box set on the Hobbit release from Games Workshop. So this is where I'm going to start, It may I may build on it, we'll see how we go. If anyone else has, has played this list, uh, or a similar list, let me know how you get on, let me know if you've got any tips, tricks, etc. Um, how you cope on certain scenarios, I can see things like domination being a bit of a struggle. Um, but yeah, I'd be very, very interested to see what you guys think and give me as much advice as possible. Uh, so don't forget to comment, like, share and subscribe. Support your hosts in the links below. Uh, follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook. 
and happy strategy battle gaming. See you soon.